Day three of the Campbell River event, uh, transformations on the shoreline. Uh, that's all our quick carve wood there to, for today, one hour quick carve at one o'clock. It's uh, Dayton Ordano and Steve Ordano. Dayton is a young fella, I would guess 15, 16, maybe something like that. Looks like maybe he's going to curve a chess piece. No, it looks like a football. Sorry. And this is his father, Steve's. Steve Rodano. And that's his there. And then we're going to tour over across the road here. And we're Gunderson from Prince George. He's doing a nice piece here. Coming to shape nice. Junior Henderson, a local. Boy, he's doing a nice job on that, eh?
Beautiful job. And this is Buddy Colin from Ontario. Let's face it. Yeah. The whole log is all going to be spirit faces. Lots of detail. Looks real good, Colin. This is Vinny. He used to be from Alberta. Now he's moved out to the island. He fell in love with it. Looks like he's got some handyman secret weapon on there. He's got a frog reading a book. John Moore from Cortez Island, just across the water. He usually does something abstract and he's doing a nice job on that. Does a nice job of finishing. Dan Ritchie from Nanaimo. Horsepower. That's one big horse. It's coming along nice though. Nice design. Sandy Cleaver from Camel River. She's got some pieces here. Oops. I don't know. I'm not sure what it is. Looks like a big, oh, a big owl, I think, maybe. She's carving. Or a tiki. Uh, maybe an owl, I'm not sure. <laughs> don't like to say. John Lavelle from Vancouver. with a crab. It's kind of a neat design, John. Gord Kitcheldorf from Massive.